volume is of a right cylinder and a right cone. So a right cylinder with a base with radius r and height of h has the volume of pi r squared times h. We talked earlier about a right prism, which is the base area times the height. This is the same thing, that pi r squared just happens to be my base area. Same thing over here. This pi r squared just happens to be my base area. It's the same basic formula, but sometimes it throws people off because it's round. Let's go through a couple examples of these. First question, determine the volume of this cone to the nearest cubic millimeter. Let's see what we got. We know the height and we know the diameter. Write down my formula. The only little problem we've got is our formula calls for a radius and we know the diameter. Pretty easy to switch. I just take the diameter, divide by two, and that gives my radius. Let's fill in our information. I'm going to take that one third, and everything is going to get divided by three. Pi is a constant, 3.14. If you've got a pi button on your calculator, use that instead. It's much more accurate. My radius is four millimeters, and I'm going to square that, and then I'm times it by my height, which is 13 millimeters. Volume equals 3.14. Four squared is 16 times 13 divided by three. Put all those top numbers together, I get 653.12. I'm going to divide all of those by three, and I'm left with volume equals 217.7. Let's round that off, 218 cubic millimeters. And there is the volume of my cone. Last example, let's find an unknown measurement. A cone has a height of eight meters and a volume of 300 cubic meters. Determine the radius of the base of the cone to the nearest meter. So what do we need to find? Radius of the base. What do we know? Height of eight meters, volume of 300 meters cubed. Let me do a quick sketch. Let's put in what we know. Write down your formula. Let's put in the pieces we know. We know our volume. Put everything over three. I don't know my radius. Let's start doing some algebra and solve for r. So it's dividing by 3. I'm going to do the opposite, which is multiplying by 3. And if I times that by 3, I've got to times that side by 3. I've got 900 equals 3.14 r squared times 8. Let's take that 3.14 times it by 8. Leaves me with 25.12 times r squared. Divide both sides by 25 by 0.12. I end up with 35.83 equals r squared. Last step, we'll take the square root of both sides, and I'm left with a radius of 9.985. Let's round that off to 6 meters. There is the radius of my base.